Good morning. I'm here with Chris and Caleb. Hi. We're going to make a video, maybe. We're going to try to. Some of you guys ask questions, I'm going to try to answer them throughout this video. So let's see how that goes. So let's get to it. Non-stick pants, not so non-sticky either, buddy. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, coffee. So, first question I've got, and I apologize if I butcher these names, is from Mark Bowie. Bowie? Bowie? Something like that? He says, he asks, why do you think people just trash campsites and put cans and bottles in the fire pits? Also, why, also how many people are camping with infants or toddlers? Because we clean up diapers at almost every campsite. And I was talking to Chris about it with this question and basically it's just humanity these days. People don't care. You look at the side of the roads, it's the same thing. People just toss things. I don't know why that, that is, they're just, they were never instilled with that knowledge to leave no trace. So, leave no trace. That's what I can say about that. So one of the most questions I get asked often is what's the most useful mod or favorite mod that I have done thus far and uh, I got two of them so we're gonna go hit some trails just around the Mount Magazine area Caleb had to go home so he won't be in this video unfortunately now he's walking away and that sandals in a dress up shirt he's halfway to church and halfway into work One of the questions was, what's my favorite mod? And for me, favorite mod's gonna be the four wheel drive conversion, which Chris here has finally converted his truck to four wheel drive. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, man. And uh, the cool thing is, is this is actually the first trail that I'm actually gonna use four wheel drive low. Now I've done this trail in, in two wheel drive with Jacob and I can do it in two wheel drive, but however, there's a couple of ledges and stuff that I had to bump and hit pretty fast. And today I'm looking forward to just climbing up them. So I'm pretty excited, man. So if you go back, I'm a, in, in the comments, tell me what trail I did in four wheel drive for the first time. Let me know. The most useful mod I believe has been the 529 gears because my truck has handled so much better on pavement with all the weight I've got on on dirt roads with the low gear so it's gas mileage is somewhat okay and it's also allowed me to run 35 inch tires so that I would say that's my most useful mod.
just did this creek crossing back here. But another question I got from Tony Kunell, I still don't know if I'm saying your last name right. Uh, one of the questions he asked is how has the suspension been holding up with the recent ball joint replacement and all that. So for the most part, my ball joints, lower ball joints are OEM, uppers are JBAs, and uh, Dobbinson suspension and all that. Everything's holding up so far. I am a little nervous now that I've got 35s. There's a lot more stress on some stuff, but uh, I really haven't been doing a whole lot of trails since then. But yeah, suspension's holding up okay and doing pretty well. The creek comes through right here, see that? Yeah. I mean, it, it probably goes around and back over here and I bet you it goes to the campsite. <laughs> exploring again, baby. Back in the woods. Dora the Explorer, bro. Hey, Dora. What are you doing? Got secured. Shot cat. AKA Dora the Explorer. with Newfound Overland and Midwest Outfitters uh, asked how long did it take before we realized that it wasn't a math question to get all four wheels to spin. You know, it took four years for me to just do it, you know, and it took Chris a couple years as well. And it wasn't hard. We both did our conversions within a weekend give or take minus a few issues but total no, like if we were to start from the beginning again it would take a weekend to do and uh, yeah it's almost embarrassing but like at the same time I feel good about it we feel good about it and uh, it's, it's an accomplishment that not a whole lot of people can say they can do so thanks for the Question, Benji. Another creek crossing. This way, Gavin's got to get to you here. I don't think it's a big enough mud hole, is what it is. Yeah, but we could do it in two wheel drive. Okay. All right, bye. This one's not really a question that I received, but more of a comment from Zach Kick. But uh, he pointed out that I'm a little hard on myself. And this is true, yeah, I tend to be. And that's because I've got goals, I've got dreams, I got aspirations that I want to accomplish in life. Which leads into something Tony asked is, 
what's next or any future plans. Right now, I'm just living day by day. I got a couple goals, dreams. I want to uh, start my own business. What a fantastic trip. Just a quick getaway, but we got to see things, do things that we haven't gotten to do in a while. Yeah, I don't really know what to say. It's been fun. Yeah, kudos to four wheel drive. He's got four wheel drive. He loves it. I got four wheel drive. I love it. Everything's going smooth. We're both re-geared, both have four wheel drive. Man, can't believe I'm saying those words. But uh, yeah, that's gonna conclude this video. Appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to subscribe. That would be awesome. Maybe like, comment, and remember, you already have wings. All you have to do is fly.